Uh, welcome to my first review of pretty much every video game system that I have. I'm not going to be going by library of games. I'm just going to mention a few. I'm not going to like do a super serious review. I just want to talk about the video game systems I own. The handhelds I own, maybe like iPad or tablets or just whatever. I just want to review a bunch of stuff because I'm probably going to start selling some stuff. And I'd like to kind of have this as like a time capsule. And double as a review. So... Um, this isn't the first handheld that I have, or the oldest one, but I wanted to start with one of my favorites. This is the, uh, the SP. This is the 001 model, so it is the backlit one, not, you know, it's the frontlit one, and not the backlit one. I believe that's how it works. I've had this one since about 2004. I mostly don't have a lot of games for it anymore. This is the closest game I have on hand right now, is Mario Brothers Deluxe. So I might as well pop that in. I, I do love this system. I always used to play it. Like this, like a bit of a weirdo. I don't know. This was during the time that I wanted a laptop or a netbook from uh, Toys R Us. And, I don't know. I couldn't have a lot. I never got a laptop or a notebook, so I just kind of, like, played this like it was one, I guess. To, like, emulate the feel of one. But, I do like this system. I think the, the main flaw is no headphone jack, which would have been really helpful, because I used to... I used to play a Mario Advance and listen to the Mario Brothers music. I really like that music for some reason. But, of course, it's the Game Boy Advance, so it can play play Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, GBA. Um, I was going to get a flash card for this at one point, but I don't know. Um, I, I do love this system. I do wish I had a variant. I, honestly, I'd personally love to have the SpongeBob version of this thing. I think it would be really funny to have but yeah this is definitely an old favorite of mine it's still comfortable to hold and shoulder buttons are pretty good the only thing i, I mean i don't i don't think most people like the game boy slots sticking out but it's still a good system it definitely is very durable due to the uh the clamshell design which i think i think this system holds up and it's not one of these self like 80 to 90 bucks even in the used market. I think I'd probably get like 80 bucks off this. If it was a if it was a one on one model I'd probably get like closer to 110 or something I think but I am glad I have this system still. This is one I'm probably not gonna get rid of because it's I don't know. I've had a lot of good memories with it even though I barely have any games for it these days. I mostly sold them all. But this is a this is <laughs> this is definitely a hood classic. And, yeah, Mario Brothers Deluxe probably is the game I play the most on it now. But yeah, this it's a great, it's a great system to have. The main complaint is that it's got a mono speaker and no headphone jack, and I have the, uh, the non-battery screen version, which I guess is not that bad. You do get a bit more, I think you get a bit more battery life because of it. But, yeah, this is a good system, and if I had to give it, uh, I think I'm gonna go leather reviews for these. I'd give this a... Uh, about an A minus, I'd say. It's very high up there. So, yeah. That'll be the first video for this series. So, yeah. Thanks.